Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zotter Gardens. I'm in my front garden today. I have a lot of edibles, fruit trees, and perennials here. Uh, but here is my pineapple guava, one of them. I have two, one's right here. I keep this as a shrub, newly planted. And this has been about four or five years old, this one here. Um, it's heavy because it's getting uh, uh, clusters of new growth and flowers. But finally, the flowers have grown. And I think the, another name for this is Fajoa or Fahoa. So I'm going to show you right now close-up shot of the flowers. This, in my opinion, is the most edible flower in the world. I've tasted many flowers. Uh, some taste like peanut butter. Some taste like a you know like a plain flower you would think, just petals. Some taste a little sweet. This tastes like to me raspberry, the petal that is. You don't eat the whole flower. You just eat the petals, the pink and the white that you see. This tastes like raspberry, strawberry and juicy fruit gum all put together of that petal. So I think what I've read is that birds, it does get pollinated by bees, but birds come to eat the petals and while they're eating the petals, their feathers rub up against the, the flower itself and uh, help cross pollinate it. So, but those petals are delicious and right after this video, I'm gonna be eating them. I'm gonna share with my family too. My son Shant loves them. So if you know, well, I mean, if you know my son from the years of YouTube, you know that he practically eats anything in the garden. But, you know, like many kids don't want to eat a flower. He will eat this flower. He loves this one. So, and there's two that have opened. There's another one right over there. And I'll show you some that haven't opened yet. So I can hold the branch so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, just in a matter of days. Maybe even tomorrow, these are just going to burst open and they're going to turn into that beautiful thing right there. So, and there's only two of them that have opened thus far. So, as you can see here, I pruned this to an open form tree like I do my stone fruit. And this little guy over here is just going to stay as a shrub, this one right over here. Happy gardening, everyone.